Hello everyone, this is Susie Q, Susie Q's Bunting Babes, and welcome to my nursery room window. Today I have Lorelei with me, and Lorelei is going to keep me company while I do a tag that I first saw on um, Suzanne of Suzanne's Babies channel just a couple of days ago. And the tag is, is from um, Fun and Frolics Haven, and the tag is It's All About the Dolls. And so um, I'm going to get started in just a minute here. Um, but what I was going to do is try to get Lorelei's blanket situated. Um, you know, as I was getting this um, video set up and, and trying to get it ready, I happened to think that it, it sure would be handy to have um, a remote control um, video um, controller. Uh, that I could just, you know, sit here and go like, you know, uh, pop the video button and I could turn it on and then pop it and I could turn it off um, rather than, you know, have to get out of the chair, um, you know, um, go over to the camera and, uh, you know, turn it off and turn it on. And so I'm going to look into that. I'm sure that it's available um, on my particular, uh, the tripod that I have now. I love my tripod. And the only thing that it does remotely is takes uh, pictures and not videos. So um, that is something that I'm going to look into. So anyway, um, I wanted to just say that Lorelei, uh, for all my um, new dolly friends, Lorelei is my full-bodied silicone uh, baby doll. And um, she is wearing, today she is wearing um, the cute little tutu outfit that Yvonne of um, Having You On sent, sent me. Um, it was a prize, a giveaway prize. And so um, this is the outfit and it came with the little cute little pants. And you know, ever since I changed Lorelei into this, I haven't taken her out because, uh, out of it, because she's just, um, I love her so much in it. So she's gonna be in this outfit for a while. Um, you know, at least, probably for the summertime. Uh, anyway, so let's go ahead and get started with the, um, the questions and the answers. And there's eight questions. So, um, so number one, do you prefer box openings or blanket reveals and why? Well, I much prefer uh, box openings. And the reason that I prefer box openings is because uh, I like surprises. Um, I love getting presents. And because of the surprise, you know, you never know what's going to be inside that wrapped package. And um, let's see, it's like, it's like, I call it like getting a baby shower in a box. And so box openings to me are, are much more exciting than, um, than blanket reveals. I, I love to do uh, box openings. I love to watch box openings. Um, I, I like to see all the goodies that everybody gets. And so... Um, that's, that's what I prefer. I've never done a blanket reveal, uh, yet, and I understand, uh, why blanket reveals are done, and that is because there are, um, you know, uh, some sellers, uh, don't sell their dolls with a lot of, um, outfits, or maybe not, a, not any outfits, and so it's probably just easier to open the box, take the baby out, wrap it in a blanket, or if it came in a blanket, just do the blanket reveal. And um, I've also <laughs> heard of uh, a blanket reveal is done if there's a camera fail. Um, I've had camera fails myself, and so I've done a whole video, and um, one time I did a whole video of a, um, it was Happy Mail, and I ended up, um, the camera didn't, the camera failed, the video camera failed, and so I, um, I meticulously, um, you know, I had wrap, unwrapped everything and I meticulously uh, wrapped everything back up and, tr you know, tried to make it as, as nice as possible and, you know, um, but anyway, that was just a lot of work. And so I think the next time if that happens to me, um, I'll just, I won't worry about wrapping it back up again. But, it, you know, uh, some people send such beautiful, um, in fact, everyone that I've ever received Happy Meal from since such beautifully wrapped gifts. And so it's just a shame to waste, you know, um, 
is to waste that that prettiness but um anyway so i think i sidebarred onto a different subject so anyway my preference is box openings okay number two during a box opening do you prefer to see the doll first or the goodies first and why okay um i like to see the goodies first and because like i said it's like a baby shower in a box and so i like to see what the baby's going to be getting um and so that's what i prefer i i really like to see the the goodies first um number three when you're expecting a doll do you look up videos of that sculpt no, I don't. I don't look up videos of the sculpt um, when I'm expecting a doll. What I do is, if I've found a doll that I like, I then start looking up videos before I purchase the doll. I especially used to do that um, with. I used to buy Ashton Drake dolls, and I did that with Ashton Drake dolls. I would look up uh, videos on YouTube because the Ashton Drake dolls. Um, in the catalogs and also online are, are just um, their artist conceptions of the doll that you're going to get. And so um, I've seen so many people be so disappointed with getting the Ash and Drake doll and seeing it in person, person versus what it really looks like, um, you know, in the, the catalog or online. And so I did that all the time with Ashton Drake dolls. I would see a doll that I liked, and then I would look for a box opening. And that's how I chose all of my Ashton Drake dolls. Um, with Reborn dolls, I, I don't do that because when I see a doll that I like um, on eBay, I will, you know, I look at, make sure I look at all the photos and, um, you know, <laughs> Uh, I actually download the photos onto my computer and I and I look at close-ups and I do everything I can to see um, that baby before I actually get it. So um, that's the way that I do it. Okay, number uh, four. Do you prefer face-to-face -face doll meetups or socializing with other doll hobbyists on social media and why? Um, I've never had a uh, a face to face meetup. I think it would be fun to do that, but I I don't have anybody that's close by um, that I could actually do a doll meetup with. I I think it would be fun, but I'll tell you what. My favorite thing in this hobby is to be um, on YouTube and um, interfacing that way with um, all my dolly friends, and I love um, receiving comments. I love to comment back. Um, and I apologize. Some of my comments that I put on other people's channels are lengthy, and I apologize that. And I'm very, I'm very aware that I do that. And so um, sometimes I'll, I'll start, you know, typing and typing and typing, and then I'll go back and I'll, and I'll start deleting because I'll say that person doesn't want to read all this stuff, you know, because I know how um, long it takes. Um, you know, to go through all something that someone's read and then um, try to make, um, you know, a reply back. And so I try my best not to do that. Um, but uh, I have a really hard time um, condensing what I have to say, um, as you can see by my video that I'm doing. So let's go on to the next question. Um, okay, I've got to turn the page here. Okay, number five. Do you prefer awake or asleep dolls and why? Okay, this is um, this is a funny question. Uh, you know, I'm holding Lorelai, she's, she's an asleep baby and uh, I love her to death. Um, I, I love her, the peacefulness in her sleeping face and she just, she reminds me of a little angel just laying here and sleeping. Now, um, I've said that, however, I prefer open-eyed babies, and so that's what I look for when I look for um, a baby doll is open-eyed babies, because um, I think I think an open-eyed baby um, it has a lot more to me. It has a lot more expression. Um, I uh, even in in real life, I I prefer to look in in people's eyes when I'm speaking to them. That's my thing. I you know I look in people's eyes, and so I'm finding that I also like to look in my baby doll's eyes too. 
And so um, I do prefer open-eyed babies. I only have, um, I have one other reborn doll that is a, my little, a little boy doll and he's a closed eye. And then there's another doll that is um, an old, an older doll, it's my Jimmy doll. And um, he is a, a closed eye doll too. But um, those are the only uh, two reborn dolls. And then I just have the one silicone closed eye doll. So I do prefer the open eye dolls um, because of the way that, you know, their expressions and, and stuff. Um, so number six, do you prefer smilers or non-smilers and why? Well, I think everybody that knows me knows that I really do prefer smiling babies. Um, and I have a lot of non-smiling babies because when, um, when I started collecting I didn't realize that there were any babies out there that were smilers. And so, but when I started watching um, my Dolly Friends videos and discovering the smiling babies, boy, I went for it. <laughs> and so um, what I look for now is smiling babies. Now, that's not to say that I wouldn't fall in love with a baby's face that wasn't smiling. I didn't say that, but right now um, I prefer um, smiling babies. So that's my preference. Um, okay, so number seven, what do you look for in a reborn doll? Do you prefer full limbs, belly plates, full bodied torsos, and why? Okay, um, I prefer full limbs uh, for the, you know, the, the first topic. I prefer full limbs because the clothes are, um, they look so much better on full limbs. Um, I don't have to worry about trying to hide the cloth part of the body. Uh, I just prefer full limbs. That's, you know, um, hands down. Now, that's not to say that I don't have any three-quarter limbs, because I do have three-quarter limbs. And um, I even have a doll that is, uh, her, ar her arms are one-quarter, how do I say this, three-quarter cloth, and one quarter, um, the rest is like from her wrist to her hand is vinyl. And um, she's my Emily doll. She's an Ashton Drake doll. And she's my very first doll that I ever got. And so um, I'm, never, I'm never going to, um, you know, she's a keeper for me. But uh, I made um, a couple of special dresses for her where the sleeves would go all the way down to her wrists. Um, her, her arms, uh, the arms on that sculpt are extra long, and so I had to make a couple of special dresses just uh, for her, her particular sculpt. Um, okay, the other thing was uh, belly plates. Well, um, you know, I have one doll that has um, a, a belly plate, and that's my Zach doll. And um, I've never used his belly plate. It came with him. Um, I I don't know. I've just never used it. He's full arms and full legs, and I just don't feel like um, um, I I haven't had any. I don't have any outfits that uh, you know that really require a, a belly plate. And so he's a big boy anyway. Um, and so I decided. Well, you know what? I I put the belly plate away. You know, wrapped it up in tissue paper and put it away. Um, and so I don't know if sometime I'll use it or not, but so far I haven't used it. Um, and then it says uh, full body torsos. I do like, um, I love my, my, I have two silicone baby dolls. This, I have Lorelei and then I have Bethany. They're, they were both made by the same artist and they're full body um, silicone dolls that have four to full torsos. And I like them a lot. Um, they're, they're really fun to dress and, um, um, you know, I, I, I don't prefer them. I mean, I don't prefer full body torsos, but I just, I happen to have two silicones that are full body. Um, I'm very satisfied with just having, um, a full arms and full legs. Okay. And then the very last one, um, question number eight, do you prefer telling everyone about your doll hobby and why? Okay, um, I've had I've heard a couple of um, other answers like this, and I'm going to be following the crowd. But I don't tell people about my dolls just because um, I just don't think people understand um, the hobby, and um, it's 
you know, I, I don't want to have to explain myself. Um, I don't even say that I collect dolls because, you know, people are going to ask me, well, what kind of dolls do you collect? And then I would have to explain and then, you know, on and on. And um, I just I just think that it's a hobby that's not it's not well understood by um, the folks that aren't in this hobby. And so I just don't want to go there. Uh, but I'll tell you what. Um, I have to say that my husband tells everybody that, you know, I have to tell my husband, okay, you know, um, don't tell these particular people that I collect dolls, you know, um, because he's the first one to always say that, that, you know, my wife collects dolls and they're, you know, they're really realistic dolls and, and she's got a YouTube channel and all this stuff. And, um, and I always have to say, hubby, you know, um, don't tell this person that I collect dolls, okay? And I've told him before I go, look, if if I want to tell the people that I collect dolls, I'll tell them, okay? Thank you. <laughs> so anyway, um, I do love this hobby a lot. And I have um, um, some very, very special dolly friends that we all understand, you know, um, why we collect dolls. And um, everyone and, you know, all of my subscribers, and, um, you know, the people that know me, they know why I collect dolls. And so I don't go out in public and just start a conversation and say, hey, by the way, I collect dolls, you know. So um, anyway, so anyway, um, gosh, that's that's um, question number eight. I don't know how much time I've been on. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this tag. And I want to thank um, her name is Penny. And um, she spells her name um, P-E-N-N-Y-E. And I don't know if I'm saying her name right, Penny or Penny. Um, but anyway, her channel is Fun and Frolics Haven. And um, it's, she, I have seen, um, I'm brand new to her channel. I just subbed to her channel and she just subbed to mine. And um, I have really enjoyed the, the few videos that I've watched so far. So um, when you get a chance, please go over and visit her channel too. She has a lot of interesting topics, and um, she's just a, she's a very happy person, and um, it has a really nice doll collection. So, um, so thank you, Penny, for starting this um, this tag. I've really enjoyed it, and thank you, Suzanne, because you're the person that I saw this um, tag first appear. Um, so anyway, I'm going to say goodbye for now. Thank you all for joining me. I'm and I'm going to have to stand up and. <laughs> to turn my uh, video camera off and but I'm going to do it very slowly so you can get a very nice last look at baby Lorelei and there she is in all of her cuteness and I hope to see you all again soon my dolly friends love you all bye bye